Hey guys, Lord of Limes here, and I hope you are very excited to see the Jeffrey 2 movie next month. We're almost there, because we're about to finish February, until next month will be the time. And the end is getting close. To the end of Kyle's story through the prequel mostly a fan-made prequel to the Zalgo in The House of Jeff the Killer. But the story is going to be very, very unsettled, or rather, very confusing, because there are going to be some familiar characters you already know. When I said that, you are going to be like, oh, Jane the Killer? Toby? Slenderman? Mm, right, wait, what about Dr. England? Or, uh... What about that that guy from Zalga movie? That was him, his name. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> and of myself doing these sort of acts. But anyways, some of these characters are mostly coming back. But it's not going to be Jane Keaton, nor Toby, uh, nor Dark... Well, Dr. English is coming back. But it's going to be, he's going to be in this movie. And you're going to be saying... Well, is that true? Is there is Patrick gonna be in this movie? Because he's gonna be a, he really good voice to be the character. Well, I don't know. Because I still haven't yet been no reply said from him. So I'd rather just not put him in, in the movie. Because well, Mr. Barry Cougar was close to being in the movie. Because I got a message that happened last year. During while the script is being made. So yeah, but nothing yet happening, so I don't want to be a registered director, I don't want to uh, interrupt or anything, so I just left that behind and do my voice again as Jeffrey. If I had to uh, do an update for Jeffrey too, and I would have just have a new voice actor. If that voice actor will try to learn how to do a right thing as a Jeffrey Keaton character. But anyways, but I know you're excited to see it happen, if you all are. But some of you might be, some of you might hate it because some of these other scenes will be so confusing. If these shouldn't be shown now, they might try to ruin the other types of the movies or the other dramas by Mr. Freddy Krueger for the characters he made. Anyways, and that... Uh, now I'm going to work on these type of new two films will be for next year if that's going to be or probably one of them at the end of the year if it could be that one of them is going to be the Angel of Sleep the short or fan series film that's mostly taking place after Jeffrey's dead the final sleep because it's going to happen during after the coal mine exploded or it burned or whatnot destroy half of the town or whatnot until it's going to take a few, a lot of months later after the rebuild of the construction of the whole town. Because it, the way you heard from the Yonder drama, it sounds like the whole town got been exploded or got been destroyed. If you might have heard from that during with the mayor back in the house of Jeff the Killer for what he was saying about the town. It's been all destroyed for whatnot. And so, um, it's going to take place during after that. Not before, not Take a play to the house of Jeff the Killer. <sighs> Sorry, I really had to. I'm trying to keep myself up because it's really night nice when I had to record this. Anyways, take a place after Jeffrey's dead, a few months after it, like from five months or whatnot. And so it's going to uh, just be about these five episodes with Jeffrey come back to life and work for his master, Salgo. Because there was a promise about Zalgo going to let Jeffrey to have his brother back. Because that was the reason written by Charles Fravenel. Because Charles Fravenel uploaded a video about that. Because that didn't show up until he finally shows it on YouTube. For what does that mean? Or why Jeffrey Keaton had to do things for Zalgo? It's got reason because Jeffrey Keaton didn't explain that much on the blood of Jeff the Killer or the house of Jeff the Killer. Patrick! Come on! Because there's gotta be a reason. Because he cannot be so much similar to Carnage that he was like, 
born as a killer. There's no way how a murderer or like Jason went out to be born this way. Because how Freddy Krueger became this way. How his childhood came out this way. Because we only seen things a bit from Freddy's dead on how his childhood life was like that. There's got to be a reason how a horror slasher turned up this way. There's some bad things happening during their childhoods. There's got to be a reason. There's no way for him or any other horror slasher that they said, I'm born this way. I'm born as a monster. But there's no way. There couldn't be. There's got to be a reason. Anyways. So. Anyways. That the Angel of Sleep short fan series is going to have five short episodes. Five episodes. They're going to be very short. Just about doing some killing stuff. And a little bit mysterious stories. About a little bit of things for the Eyeless Jack for once. Because. This was this series was going to be about Eyeless Jack this time. Jack the Ripper, who's mostly going to be named that way, but anyways, that Jack Keith and the Eyeless Jack, it's going to be about his series, taking a place during all those years ago, back in the 18th centuries, after his born, or rather his reborn, as Eyeless Jack, taking place in that type of year, and there are a little bit more people trying to hunt him down or whatnot, and a few bit from familiar characters from that type of year, during them, and so it's going to be something about that. But no, it didn't because it'll be difficult to do things for film things. So how we're we going to do that? Because if I would have just been older enough to go to Hollywood to have my own type of setup, but that's going to cost a lot of money. <laughs> so myself with low budget, so I would rather just do with Jeff and Keaton once again. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, I was sick. Eyeless Jack, I let you down. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Now the Angel of Sleep is going to be something else. And I have a writer who's going to work on the series right now. That the writer's name is mostly HP Voice. That's the name of the writer from <sighs> Darn it! That, uh, that's from Casting Hall Club that I put the audition. And HP Voice, the writer, is going to keep working on scripts. And I didn't get anything much matches or replies yet from the writer. If the writer is mostly still working on the script, or kind of busy on doing something else for once. So, I get one more message, or comment, about you don't have to, to write the whole, to make the series so, you don't have to make one simple episode so long. You can make it a little bit short. Because it's just about these killing stuff and a little bit of mystery stuff. I don't know. It's short episode. Like five minutes. If it has to be like that. And I got myself a new mask. But not the type of like a new mask from this year I made. It's the same old mask I made back in 2017. That you might look back to my Red Jet 101 channel. About reviewing of all my type of mask or costumes. And it's mostly in the back, and I. You already saw it on the community for what it looks like. And I got the wig back, and I'm going to, uh. Going to replace the hoodie, because that bloody hoodie I wear back in 2018, since I first got it in that year, is now so small that I can't fit in. It will show parts of my stomach or anything else. Because I'm growing up. So quick. Like a Bigfoot. <laughs> Anyways, so I got, I bought myself a new white hoodie that might fit me, because it might still parts of the close parts of my hand and parts of my pelvis or whatnot to make it a little bit large. Because I didn't know if I, because I tried to look back to the Humanizers or the Zalgo movie with Jeffrey Keaton's look on the film version, or live action, you might say. Because the hoodie of Patrick's looks a bit much, a little bit. Large a bit. But anyways, get sorry got myself that might look like that. And in the more tomorrow, I might go into spray paint it. If I have a gas mask for what Jeremy asked me to use to wear. Because there are a lot of things terrible if you don't have a gas mask when you do your spray paint stuff to make things safe. Once you had to work on a costume with spray paint, I don't know. But I've been through with that. If I see no sickness in me right now. Well, I see nothing happening. Anyways, enough of that. 
and you all heard that I'm going to work on a Bloody Painter movie. And what is this Bloody Painter going to be? Is it going to be the same way from the original story is? No. It's going to still be connected to the Jeffrey Keaton saga. Saga or saga, I don't know. Because it's a, the writer, I already got a writer is going to work on. Uh, the writer's name is multi the K2 dude. But the writer's name is, on the script is mostly Karen Tohel. And this writer, show me a bit from the script because I matched the writer if I could see a little bit half parts of the script. And uh, this is going to take a place during the 90s, before Jeffrey Keaton was born. And during after, you know, the, the, the demon driver's seat. The demon in the driver's seat, I mean. It's going to take place in the 90s. It's going to show some origins about the Bloody Painter's life and how he became his way. And I want to make things a little bit dark, a little bit sad a bit, for the character. Because they cannot just, just show it already about getting boldly or whatnot. There's got to be reasons too about his, during his childhood life as well. Because it's going to take place a little bit parts of the past and the present. But the present is going to be taking place in the asylum or in a mental hospital or whatnot. During with the main character, this mostly Blade Painter, talking about his story, his origin, how he turned up this way as a killer. And during about his school life. <laughs> and a little bit parts that not a little bit good for a horror thing. And I or really sick stuff. So I asked the, the scriptwriter to rewrite that part of the scene about one of those because none of those are not really good for the character okay it doesn't sound very good at all even Jeremy as well because Jeremy is going to be the actor going to be the main character so yeah hope the writer replies to me so he can or she can rewrite that part because it doesn't look good because I can't tell you why because I don't want to spoil the story because the writer is still working on it and we're getting things set up and I'm might have a chance to film things in my school location because I asked one of my uh, guidance teachers or principal to uh for permission because you need to do permission stuff folks without just for no reason just film things around with, without permission you know because because <laughs> you said people you say that's legal you can't film things around these locations it's illegal but how did how did those are YouTubers do theirs? Like how um, I'm Jay Station or the Exploring with Josh did. How did they did their own type of videos? Like I'm Jay Station didn't put a permission if he did. I don't know. But Exploring with Josh? I don't know how. I don't know how he get to do some videos around these abandoned places. But anyways. I might have a chance to film things around my my location because there's a thing about the origin story that shows about the bullying stuff. So I might going to do that in the school location. But how am I going to get actors? Well, my guidance or my teacher or my principal are not going to help me to do that. But I had to show show them my show them my work, even scriptwriter's story too. Even the origin story about the Bloody Painter, too. But you always, some of you might say, I don't know, you can't do some horror stuff in school, dude. Because that makes you all crazy. But have you seen these type of horror fan films on YouTube lately about some zombies or horror stuff around their own our schools with those other people doing theirs? Search up. But yes. Lady Painter is going to be a little bit connected to the Jeffrey Keaton story. It's not about going to be Jeffrey Keaton. It's going to be about these horror characters, what happened to their own life before Jeffrey Keaton. And maybe some of those are who are good parts of characters who are going to take place after the last audio job of Jeffrey Keaton. Because we haven't known it. We, got, we didn't do anything that much about these horror characters. Because they don't look sound realistic because between their own type of fantasy powers with these magics, blah blah blah. Because I want to make Blade Painter a little bit more realistic because he doesn't have any powers or anything, he's mostly realistic. But his life, 
his origins need to be much more realistic. They need to be more understandable. And make it a little bit dark. And a little bit sad. And maybe I might be the one to do the music, be the composer. If I might try. But yes. Bloody Painter and the Angel of Sleep are still in the work. But am I still going to do some Minecraft stuff? Minecraft movies? Eh, yeah. If Jesse and his friend Jose are still online. If I still have a chance for a new script writer for the Rick movie and others. Because they're not a very good script writer for the other ones. But how am I very good on the House of Fred and VR movies that I just did before? I cannot say. Anyways. Angel of Sleep, Bloody Painter, very, are coming for another time. They're still not yet prepared already because we're just because we're in like a one percent for once. Cause we're just getting things started a little bit. Maybe two if I had to get permission from the school so I can film things around and getting actors, and that would be a three percent. But once I get actors, all the cast ready. I still have to wait for the scriptwriter to finish the whole entire script. And we'll get things ready. Cause I think I already got all the stuff for the for the Bloody Painter's look, because he's gonna get a new type of look in my version. Even the mask can still be the same. But I got two two extra masks for the character. One is gonna be some type of prototype. Like how you see in those other movies that those people who made their own type of looks like how Jason has his own type of different type of mask look or costume or suit clothing or whatnot during every part. Like the first when he appears is mostly a baggy mask and the next one will be his own hockey mask. So it's gonna be something like that. It's like that it's gonna be like how Blade Painter created his own type of look. His new look. And how he prepared to get a smile around this face. <laughs> or just his mask. But anyways, that's it all I forgot, folks. And a script writer for Angel of Sleep, so why still working on episode one? But what really say is gonna be we still don't know folks, we still don't know. We're still getting things ready. But we still need actors. And because I'm Having difficult times to get actors. Because I don't know how it's possible for me to get one. Because I already got one that's mostly Jeremy. Because we be friends. And we help one another. So I'm not sure how it's going to be possible to do the others. To get more actors. If my teachers might help me. Because they're very nice and very helpful. So. Hope this might work for the movie. And mostly the series. Anyways. Hope you all enjoyed this video, because you'll all be excited between these two movies and series, and you'll all be excited for Jeffrey 2 once they release. And I'm going to show you a little bit of official scene, like one last time for the Jeffrey 2 before it release in March. Hope you like this one, and of course, have a wonderful day, folks. Even? Wait, what? <laughs>